Right, uh, welcome to the part 3 of the uh, kernel layer material tutorial and in this part we're going to take a look at how to create some simple <coughs> glass material with some engraving so we will try it on the bottle we have prepared okay so let's isolate the bottle and get kernel layer material obviously uh, our base uh, base material is going to be some simple glass then on top of that is going to be engraving which is going to be some uh, translucent sort of material and we can also try to add some dust layer on top of the glass so it doesn't look so clean okay so let's start with the naming bottle and this is going to be bottle glass glass is very simple zero diffuse reflection refraction to one and yay we have glass All right maybe let's make it tinted just for fun let's make it green one of those old green bottles so absorption to one centimeter or zero five and some nice greenish color oh actually <laughs> that's subsurface scattering we won't set it to black sorry my bad scattering is gonna be black absorption is gonna be tinted we do not need subsurface scattering for the for the glass so here 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 okay we have green glass great so this is it for the base glass and now let's put in our engraving so first of all we need some bitmap as mask and what i'm going to use is this this is what our map looks like it's just a mask and if i just plug it in as it is and get a new kernel material which is gonna be ball engraving set it as layer one you can see some issues the texture is obviously tiling so it's also on a place where we do not want to have it so i'm just gonna disable the tiling uh, this resolves the tiling problem but still uh, keeps the problem of uh, engraving being on all of the walls which we do not want so actually uh, this mesh has materials id material ids and material id 2 is just this front wall so we are going to take advantage of that by using again corona multi-map material id 1 is gonna be black material id 2 is gonna be white let's try to set it as mask this works and wherever there is white we want only white to be on the places where the texture is white so let's just plug this texture into our white slot and we have resolved the issue so let's just wait for the autosave all right and our engraving is only on one wall so let's give it some some material some actual material so let's make it white let's make it shiny like this maybe decrease the let's decrease the glossiness so it's going to be shiny but pretty rough and actually let's increase frontal to something like 3 
to make it sort of like a little metallic. Okay, it reflects some light. Maybe increase the glossiness a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's keep it this way. Also, we want engraving to be somewhat uh, kind of uh, we want to see uh, as if there was some extrusion so what we are going to do is uh, take our map duplicate it set blur to one so we get quite uh, white edges and I'm gonna invert this using output and the inverted map will go into the bump slot of the engraving material and as you can see we are starting to observe some bevel around the engraving material which we can even amplify further by increasing the bump amount of the texture okay and we can also add some translucency to the engraving so some light actually passes through like this yep so this is for the engraved label on the bottle and now we will try to add some simple layer of dust so let's get another kind of material call it bottle dust put it here make it a bit translucent and take fall off fall off will go to the diffuse as well as the translucency color uh, this color will be like this dark dusty color this one will be brighter less saturated like this fall off is gonna be set to frenal with like four oh, three 2.5 and we can also see if playing with the curve helps us To make dust appear even more rough okay this looks a bit like dust so now I'm gonna get another fall off use it as a mask for the dust and it's gonna be towards away in the world Z axis all right we can see we want dust on the top so let's just swap these two colors and let's just play with the curve like this yep there's dust on top of our glass there's our engraving so this is our material and let's get back let's take also the lid to see how it looks with the lid looks fine the lid could use some dust as well so maybe here's our polished metal we used used it uh, for the lamp we do not want dust on the lamp just yet so let's just duplicate it this duplicate will be assigned to our lid this dust layer will be another layer of this lid metal material and there's a little bug with fall off map in the world axis so i have to restart my material editor as well as interactive that should fix it all right so again this dust material will be another layer all right now it now the metal is all dust so we will just mask it using this fall off right here 
So just set it here, put it here as a mask for the dust. And now we have dust also on the lid. And in the same manner, we could add dust to pretty much all the layered materials in our scene. Okay, so I'm just gonna get back in our camera. I'm going to set a region for our bottle. Open our render settings, increase the resolution slightly and let's see how our bottle looks in our scene. Alright, the engraving is there, so is the dust, which is obvious. And uh, so this is it probably for the glass material and uh, the last material remaining for us is the rust, rusty metal on the bucket. So I'll see you then in part four where we'll take a look at that rusty material. So see you then.